Kanye West made a statement at his surprise Yeezy fashion show on Monday, wearing a black sweatshirt with the slogan White Lives Matter written across it. Fashion models in the rapper's show also wore clothing with the message written across it, a response to the Black Lives Matter movement that was founded in 2013 following the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin by George Zimmerman. Also posing with West, 43, was the right-wing commentator Candace Owens, who beamed while wearing a complimentary version of the White Lives Matter shirt, and Kanye's daughter Northwest, 9, was even roped into the event. I am Yee, and everyone here knows that I am the leader, West, 43, said at the event while referencing his new legal name, adding, You can't manage me. It is not the first time that Yee has stoked controversy surrounding race, after saying in 2018 that he thought 400 years of slavery was a choice. The Anti-Defamation League has previously called the phrase White Lives Matter a hate slogan. The slogan worn on West and Owens shirts has previously been used by the Ku Klux Klan and other white supremacist organizations as an attack against the Black Lives Matter movement and black people more broadly. According to Page Six, West gave a speech to the crowd while wearing the garment, and referenced his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's Paris robbery in 2016, where she was held at gunpoint as well as his fallout with clothing giant Gap. West's latest appearance with Owens is particularly surprising, as she called his ex Kim a prostitute on her Daily Wire show in September after Kardashian's ex Ray J claimed she and her mother Kris Jenner had released their sex tape in a calculated manner, like an album. Although the producer and fashion star has feuded publicly with Kardashian over her parenting and her ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson, he has expressed an ongoing desire to get back together with her for months. Owens has previously been critical of the NAACP, the Black Lives Matter movement, has referred to COVID-19 as a scam, and has claimed that white supremacy is not a pressing issue in society. Prior to the show, the rapper shared a photo of headshots of several models, actresses and singers, including his ex-wife, his current romantic interest Candice Swanepoel, Amelia Hamlin, Angelina Jolie, Emily Ratajkowski and others. However, it's unclear if they were all expected to make an appearance, or if they just inspired Yeezy Season 9 in some way. According to Page Six, only Naomi Campbell and Hamlin walked the runway. Shake was present at the show but stayed on the sidelines. Notably, the photos of the women were taken years or decades ago when they were particularly young. It's unclear why he sought out those photos rather than more contemporary photos of them. During his introduction to the show, West also referenced his former manager Scooter Braun. Braun is perhaps best known to the general public for purchasing Taylor Swift's master recordings, an act that infuriated her and has led her to re-record her entire catalog to prevent the current owners from garnering royalties. Naomi Campbell and Michelle Lamy were reportedly among those who walked at the show. Photos from the show appear to show some of the models wearing White Lives Matter shirts. The fronts of the offensive shirts were not clearly visible in photos and videos from the event. West previously found himself in the spotlight when he trudged through mud at Balenciaga's fashion show for Paris Fashion Week in a thick, militarized ensemble. Shake who briefly dated the monster rapper after his split from Kim Kardashian, shared her congratulations on another epic Yeezy collection with the short Insta Stories video of him speaking in front of a much larger video screen of himself. He was also seen standing amid an array of earth-toned clothing that looked as if it had been carelessly thrown on the floor in a photo she posted.